Mrs. Davis is all-knowing and all-powerful. She not only knows you're coming for her, but she wants you to. Welcome back to the channel. Today, this is a review on Mrs. Davis. Now, Mrs. Davis premiered on Peacock in April of 2023. It contains eight episodes, each roughly about 50 minutes apiece. And this is defined as a comedy, drama, sci-fi with this kind of story. Sister Simone partners with her ex-boyfriend Wiley on a globe-spanning journey to destroy Mrs. Davis, a powerful artificial intelligence. My typical mashup of kind of getting you something that you can go ahead and actually familiarize yourself with. My best one for this one is kind of like, this is like Highway to Heaven meets Person of Interest. I think that's the best that I could go ahead and actually do and I think that's pretty accurate. For having religious aspects, AI intrigue, the comedy, which is like a like weird mix or what have you, all that type of stuff in there is a lot of different moving parts there. I'm going to go ahead and categorize myself as a casual on here. I'm a casual streamer, giving you that perspective on here. Hopefully that'll go ahead and actually do you well to make a decision. If you like how that sounds, do me a favor, click like, share, subscribe. Hopefully Mrs. Davis likes that. And let's get to it. The best way that I can go ahead and actually give you this review is really kind of laying my opinion out based on the first two episodes and how they played out. Um, just doing a general overview as far as like acting and, and storyboarding and things like that doesn't going to give you a good feeling there until I really kind of lay out these two episodes. So like in the first 15 minutes, I would go and actually consider this is either one of the best or the worst catfish scenes I've seen in a while. Why? Because it was wrapped up in a look back in times to like the 1300s and the Knights Templar. There are some significant events happening and a cool fight scene that happens during that time. And it promises a premise that you're totally sucked into of like, okay, I'm there, you got me. If I like the Knights Templar, I like sword fighting, I like this, this, and that, so like that, I'm here for you. Then we jump to present day to people who we don't know. It only has a connection by religious connotations from that previous intro. And it only connects towards the end of episode two. So it's a weird start as far as if I if you were here in your thought process as far as like nice Templar and all this kind of stuff, and it, this is gonna be kind of cool. And then you jump to the present and there's no link um, for pretty much the first two episodes until the very end of episode two. It's kind of a little weird there. Because I don't want to spoil anything about the series, um, I don't want to go and get into spoiler area, so I'm not going to. But I think I'm probably, I, I can tell you, I don't think that I'm smart enough um, to get all the allegories and comparisons that are made in this series. Things like religion versus secular living, uh, purpose versus free will, etc. Things like that, you know, high level philosophical thought processes are things that are in play here along with some comedy that's you know subtle and hints there here and there and all that kind of stuff there's a I think you have to be on a different wavelength to be able to get all the things in here you can be entertained by it but I think the appreciation is a notch above probably the level of thought process that I get on the series promises people that have uh, strong thoughts about religion or AI or free will, crowd acceptance. I think they're going to see a lot of value into this series. I think you're going to go and actually be like, boom, I'm here for it. Let's go. Considering that I'm just kind of like an average guy that wants entertainment. And if there's something that I can learn, great. In regards to entertainment, this series is kind of like a hit or miss. I think Betty uh, Gilpin playing Simone is pretty good in her role. As someone who is struggling with her purpose and combines life, confusion, action, comedy, etc., she's pulling off the role pretty well. I think they cast her pretty well. She does well in that. Side characters like Jake Mc, uh, McDorman as Wiley and Andy McQueen as Jay, as Jay are decent. So the acting is good here. I don't have any problems with the acting on here. The story is weird, but it's written to connect over the length of the series. It's unique enough that people will want to check it out. And with it being a premise of religion, 
with AI and all that kind of stuff. It's definitely got a unique spin to it, and it might draw in viewers that way. The comedy that is present sometimes, it can give you a chuckle. Most of the time, it's not really funny, though. Hello? Hi, um, I'm looking for the grail. The holy one. Outside of the first action scene, the other action scenes or chases are okay, they're mildly entertaining, but nothing that you're going to hang your hat on to. Meaning that if you're here for the chuckles, if you're here for the action, it's going to be okay, so-so, kind of average for you, nothing that you're going to tune in for. So that leads me to my verdict. For both mains and casuals, I'm gonna say watch the first two episodes. The mains are going to be really engaged into the philosophical ideologies present in the series and the acting is decent enough for mains to go ahead and actually see the message the series is giving and they'll kind of figure out if this series is for them or not, if it's the right vibe. For casuals, the weird story combined with decent acting and a few action scenes should be enough to keep you engaged. I'd say give it the first two episodes as a casual to let the full setup wash over you to see if it's your thing. One episode is not going to be a fair evaluation to see if this unique premise is your thing. So again, for both main target audiences and casual streamers, I'm going to advise to watch the first two episodes of Mrs. Davis now showing on Peacock. Check it out. To you. To you. To you. To you. To you. To you. She wants to talk to you. Thank you for staying for the whole review. I appreciate that. Do me a favor. Click like, share, subscribe if you really want to go and actually give me some love. Or watch one of these other videos that the algorithm is suggesting to you that you might like for one of my other reviews. But until the next time, I'll holler at you. Take care of yourself.